Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the Stock Kings YouTube channel and today we are going in on CCIV Lucid Motors and the possible merger with Apple Inc. Now, uh, looking into CCIV and their stock, they recently have been going down. Uh, in the past, we've had Meteor Meteoric rise to the top. We started around $10, huge upside um, into the 60 and even almost $70 range. Now, this was because of um, the agreement that Lucid Motors had with CCIV Churchville, Churchill Capital 4. Um, and then soon after that, Lucid Motors realized the clout that they had. Um, obviously, there's huge hype in this stock, and they wanted to restructure that agreement. So then the stock obviously fell way back down. There was no agreement. They wanted to restructure, get a little higher price point. But uh, before we get into the um, CCIV and Apple merger, I want you guys to go ahead and give a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on. Um, I love to see the support that you guys give this channel. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so why does Apple have this interest in making uh, a car? Uh, apparently the Apple car has been in the works for over a decade now. But uh, the big problem for Apple is that uh, they're a tech company. They're not really, you know, a car ma manufacturing company like Lucid Motors. Um, Lucid is a small EV uh, company. Uh, they make a bunch of different cars. They have the Air Pure here, uh, Air Touring, Grand Touring, and then their most expensive Air Dream edition, edition, which they are now transferring some of these out. There's going to be 577 of these sent out this year. And what CCIV, Lucid Motors, what they do really well is they make excellent EV vehicles. Their batteries are great, their motors are great, and their engineers are absolutely excellent. They've been picking off a lot of engineers from um, Tesla to make these cars, but the only issue is is their autonomous driving software is not in the it's not ready yet. It's not um it's not ready to come out. Uh, you have the CEO saying that you know it's going to take four years for them to uh, come out with this autonomous driving software. And then that's where Apple comes in. So Apple is more of a software company. Uh, they're really good at, you know, coming out with great software very quickly. And they have the money to do so. So uh, that's where kind of the value between CCIV and uh, um, Apple comes in. You would have CCIV Lucid Motors creating the cars, creating um, those great vehicles. And then Apple would come in with the software for autonomous driving which would cut the time for Lucid Motors to come out with that uh, much greater. It would be, you know, much closer to two years, one year than uh, the four year time span that they are talking about. So if we go here, um, we have an article talking about Lucid Motors Apple partnership rumors. Um, uh, as you can see here, uh, the Bulls really love this rumor. And where the rumor stems from is the CEO of Lucid Motors kind of dropped a hint about um, uh, clues with a Lucid Motors partnership with Apple. Now, I want to play this video for you guys and uh, just pay attention to the end. Pay attention to the subtle cues that the CEO right here uh, drops on this. There's a, there's a, com a compelling, compelling argument, argument for partnership. This is a pragmatist in me. Let's lead, let's create the very best EV technology in the world. And I believe Lucid's got that. But I think I'm up for partnership in terms of software. We've got the best car. We have the best um, hardware suite. We've got all this connected with an Ethernet gigabit ring, super connected car, two terabytes of data on board storage, super cloud connectivity. This is the perfect platform for any um, um, Silicon Valley big company to prove out its AD software, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, was this all developed in-house? All right. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed the little subtle eye winks that the CEO gave, but basically what he said was, you know, they have the best EV. Uh, 
vehicle. That's what CCIV is focusing on. They want to come out with the best engine and the best battery that an EV vehicle could have. And he has his background as an engineer at Tesla. He was a chief engineer at Tesla. So that's what his primary focus is on for these Lucid Motor vehicles. So what he's basically saying is that he is looking to partner with a company that could come in with this autonomous driving software for them. And he gave, he almost slipped up and said who it was, but he gave a very subtle hint with his eyebrows saying a big company wants to come in, he could partner with, and then they would do the autonomous software for them, which would be absolutely incredible. Now, there's some more reasons why Apple could then um, come in and work with CCIV as well. So you have Michael Klein, he's the founder at CCIV. Um, he is a childhood friend with the widow of um, Steve Jobs, Lauren Powell Jobs. And um, she is also a managing partner at Emerson Collective. That That's super impressive. Uh, Emerson Collective is an investor in CCIV. So you have ties there between Steve Jobs' widow um, and Michael Klein, the founder of CCIV. And a big one is Sir Jonathan Ive. Now, he's a partner at Churchill Cap Capital, and he served as a chief design officer in Apple. He was involved in designing hardware, packaging at Apple, and Steve Jobs referred to him as a, his creative partner. Now, those are huge ties between the two companies and definitely shows progress towards a potential partnership for Apple to uh, create the software for the autonomous driving and then uh, Lucid Motors to create the vehicles. So um, I want to go ahead and talk some technicals, uh, some potential plays for today on the CCIV stock. Um, obviously, huge drops continues to drop. Um, we want to see, uh, see if I'm understanding that on the daily, it's probably going to come down, touch this 50 EMA, but uh, we got us some good consolidation. Let's look at the hourly chart. Yeah, some a uh, lot of consolidation here. Um, I was looking earlier, definitely broke through the support that I was looking at earlier right here on the hourly, but it seems to come up. It may retest this right here this support um to continue down so it'll come up here try to uh this support has now turned into resistance this candle will then come up try to test this and if it does not break through you can expect the next candle as soon as it breaks the low to continue down even further so that's the day trade that i'm looking at for potential long-term trades um let's look at the daily uh yeah so we have uh wicks ending here um let me draw up the support. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting for these uh, down candles to kind of form a better support for it to break on the way up. Um, but yeah, if we do get uh, more news, more leaks on this merger with Apple and CCIV, you can expect this stock to absolutely explode. You know, nothing is confirmed yet. But if we do get anything closer to a confirmation, you can expect this stock to break all time highs. And with this stock um, being as low as it is right now, currently trading on March 3rd, around 1040 um, a.m., you can see that it's 2635. So this is just great value for the um, positive and implementations of this stock you can see it could possibly even go higher than its all-time highs and if you're getting value here you're gonna get so much money if if it breaks all those all-time highs with the apple news so if you like that information go, go ahead give a like on the video subscribe and i will see you next time